So when something like this washes up on the beach, it immediately gets everybody's attention. It really is a human story. And so people are naturally attracted to it. And right now we've got about seven different individual entities that are working together as a community to help preserve and protect this story here. If this was built in the Gulf Coast or the Southeast, it's possible that somebody is alive, maybe even walked past it in the past few days, that is related to somebody who sailed aboard it or built it. Right now, our job is to get it farther up the beach where it'll be high and dry so we can record it and capture all of that data from it. Because ships like that were often built by people or sailed by people who weren't necessarily literate and their stories don't persist down through the generations. Finding a tool mark, finding writing on a ship is a piece of somebody's story that they didn't have a chance to leave a story behind. And it's a touchstone for all of us as a community to work together, pull together these stories. And the number one thing for me is every kid that comes down here and sees that or touches it, experiences it and learns something about this shipwreck, they're not going to forget today.